My name is Robin Oakes and I live in Boston, Massachusetts and um, I did work at a university for 26 years but right now I'm an independent activist, speaker, educator and I have the great privilege of traveling around the country doing talks and workshops <laughs> for different um, audiences, um, many of them college student audiences but also professionals and community members and I have the best job in the world. I'm at Expanding the Circle this year for my second time and this year though I'm part of the teaching team which has been an absolutely amazing experience. One of the things that I like best about Expanding the Circle is the range of people who attend. I mean to be in a room with people from so many different parts of the country but also from who have so many different roles within the university system. There are people here who are undergraduates, there are people who are graduate students, there are people here who happen to be LGBT, who work in higher ed, there are people who are, who are professors but who don't teach LGBT studies, and then there are people who teach LGBT studies and you know, women's studies and gender studies, and then there are LGBT directors who support the students. It's the most amazing conglomeration of people, and there's so much expertise present at this conference, and so the workshops themselves are an opportunity, I think, for people to take all this expertise and share it with each other, and it's, it's a rich, rich experience. The programs that I'm doing, um, to, I did one yesterday, a full day program called Framing Identity and Sexuality, and we basically looked at identity, we try to really complicate identity and sexual orientation, um, and to think of identity um, as a journey, I think for a lot of people to understand that the way we framed identity when we first came out may not be the same as the way people are framing it now. And also how much all of our other intersectionalities affect our experience of our sexual orientation. It was just an amazing, amazing day. And, and then tomorrow I'm doing a program called Getting By and we're looking, um, focusing on bisexuality and other non-binary sexual orientation labels and that's a three-hour program and we'll be doing all kinds of work on both understanding what that identity means and what it doesn't mean and also focusing on why people have such a hard time understanding or accepting that identity and so again I'm hoping it'll be another fabulous and interactive day but this conference is it's it's something to be treasured it's a very very special environment and one that I've never experienced anywhere else.